Breaking news! This just in, people! Apple is going to sell a metric f**k ton of iPhone 9s. Want tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications if you're sitting on the toilet right now. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, of course, show that gives you all it is tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, Samsung event tomorrow. Happening tomorrow. So obviously tomorrow is Samsung stuff. We'll talk about that then. Uh, for today's episode, let's talk about not Samsung stuff, huh? All right, so first thing we're going to talk about today, story numero uno, uh, Samsung stuff. Yep. You fell for that one, didn't ya? Okay, here are my updated prices for all carriers in the US. So that's uh, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, all of them. For the S20 5G, $999 starting price, that's base model. In fact, all of these are base models. For the S20 LTE, there is no US model, no 4G option, I'll get to that in a second. The S20 Plus 5G starting at $1,199. The S20 Plus LTE, no US model, no 4G option. And then that S20 Ultra 5G starting at 1,399 buckaroons. Along with that, I tweeted a little bit of a higher quality image of the camera module on the S20 Ultra. What you're looking at there is the Ultra. Okay, so I know it sort of sounds weird, uh, but according to my sources, there are 4G LTE options for both the S20 and the S20 Plus, but not the Ultra. But those out there is a catch. Those LTE 4G options aren't in the US. They are for select other markets outside of the US. Okay, so obviously the US models, the models that we're getting here in the United States of America, uh, they ship with the Snapdragon 865 chip inside, which is 5G, but for other markets, the LTE models are shipping with the Exynos chip inside. So for those of you who wanna pick this up outside of the US, be on the lookout again in select markets because you may have an option to save some money, get that LTE version instead, and save you like what I would guess is the equivalent to like 150 US dollars. Last night, Samsung also uh, just out of nowhere during the Oscars aired this commercial for the Galaxy Z Flip. Just didn't even wait for the event. It just happened. It just happened as a commercial, a regular commercial during the Oscars last night. Now I know a lot of people are freaking out being like, why would they spoil it? Why wouldn't they wait? Why'd they just put it in a regular commercial on a Sunday night instead of waiting just for Tuesday to show it off at their own event? And the answer is simple, because every day, regular smegla ass people are not watching that event. They're watching the Oscars. Of course, if you watch this show, if you follow me on Twitter, you are paying attention. That commercial was not for you. It's so they could show off this technology to regular people and be like, look, we took that thing you have in pocket and folded. It's in half now. You're welcome, everybody. The, welcome to the future. Listen, I know pretty much everything has already leaked, but are you still excited for the event? Are you excited for these devices? I know a lot of you don't believe me on the pricing. That's fine. We'll find out on Tuesday. You still excited? You know what? I feel like we covered a lot there. So next up, let's talk about the iPhone. Let's talk about the Apple stuff. So if you aren't caught up, this is what you can expect to see in the iPhone 9. This is pretty much it, at least according to all the most legit, credible rumors this is the concept video I would like to show. I don't show a lot of concepts on here, especially the ones that don't look like the actual device, but this one, as I've shown you before, is the closest thing, according to real legit leaks that we have for this device. I know it doesn't look like the new ones. I get that, that's fine. If you believe that, this phone isn't for you. As I've told you before on this show, Apple's business model for the most part is completely different. They don't care if you buy the highest end iPhone anymore. They just wanna give you more options because it doesn't matter which iPhone you have now. It doesn't matter anymore. As long as the phone in your pocket is an iPhone. And now, probably the most exciting thing about this device has been backed up once again. If you missed it, back in October-ish, I think, Ming-Chi Kuo, one of the most reputable Apple analysts on the planet, said that this iPhone SE 2 or iPhone 9, let's assume it's called the iPhone 9, uh, is going to be $399, so $400 for this device. And now we have yet another report, this time this week coming from Fast Company, also stating and confirming that price, 
saying it's sitting at $399. Now, I will say, and I think I've said this before on the show, um, the name iPhone 9, the name of this device, is like a giant marketing oversight, in my opinion. Like, we have the 10, the 10R, the 10S, and the 11, and later this year we're going to have the 12. Consumers know numbers, and they know 9 is less than those numbers. That's a smaller number. But you know what? Whatever. At $400, this device is going to sell a shit ton. Both for people that have iPhones already, older iPhones, this is a great convincing upgrade for them. Just 400 bucks, and they get the newer one? Cool. That's great. But also for the people who have never, ever had an iPhone before, this is a great entryway for them. So yeah, as we mentioned before, we're supposed to be getting this phone during the March event. Uh, supposed to be. It's getting kind of complicated now. So even though we're supposed to get this device at the March event, and assuming that like right after that it would go on sale, uh, we might have some problems here in terms of producing and manufacturing this phone. The coronavirus right now in China is like really wreaking havoc here, both on humans, which is obviously the most important aspect of this thing, but also it creeps its way into our mobile world because a lot of our favorite tech stuff is made there in China. Now, the Chinese government's denying a lot of stuff. Apple has basically said, uh, there's nothing really to worry about. Mm, but he might have something to worry about. Yeah. So the day that you're probably watching this, Monday, when this episode comes out, uh, Foxconn was supposed to be opening back up. And that's where they make a lot of iPhones. Uh, and it seems like now, mm, yeah, maybe not. So rumors started circulating that Chinese health authorities actually sort of stopped this and told them not to reopen their facility today because of the quote unquote high risks of coronavirus infection. Now it is important for me to mention right now that Chinese officials have actually come out and denied that they are preventing Foxconn to reopen, but like, come on now. So here's the thing, I don't wanna scare anybody. This is not my place to like break this news on the show. We just have a lot of inside sources in the tech industry, especially working in China, that say this is actually a lot worse than Chinese officials are saying, and that a lot of places are shut down. People aren't allowed to leave. Everything's on lockdown, especially Shenzhen, where a lot of stuff is being made. And the important thing to note is, even if your favorite companies sort of assemble products elsewhere in the world, Keep in mind that assembly is not manufacturing and a lot of the manufactured products are still being made, like the parts, the pieces that they need to be assembled are still made in these places in China. Apple also shut down a bunch of their retail stores in China and that has also been extended. So they were supposed to open up today, uh, but that has been pushed back to the 15th. So obviously let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best, obviously for the people in China, first and foremost. And then after that, our products and the stuff that have to come here. Hopefully there's no problem with iPhone production. We get that phone during the March event and people get to buy it for $400. Either way, I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna sell a lot. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like a button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. That works too. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.